Hi, submarine friends. Well, this is a pretty important part of owning a submarine, uh, providing you use high pressure air. So this is actually a 3000 PSI uh, air compressor that is built to pump scuba tanks and Scott packs. So I bought this off a natural gas plant where they used to fill Scott packs and I bought it sight unseen and I got a really good deal. I paid a thousand dollars for it, which is ridiculously cheap for this, but I took a big chance that it doesn't work. So I took the whole cabinet off and I just rigged up a, an electric motor here. I'm actually driving it with a gas engine, but I can't run that engine in here. So I just clamped on a, a small motor just so I can go through everything and see where my problems are. So right now it is not pumping. When I first got it last summer, I rigged up an electric motor to it like this. Yeah, the reason I have to do this is I don't have the three phase power capacity to run the original motor, which is a five horsepower motor. So at that time I had it pumping up to like six, 800 PSI. And I just put it away and thought, well, I'll just work on it in the winter. Well, here we are. And now I'm getting no pressure. So I've got the first stage piston pumping now. And I've got the second stage piston valves on the workbench and I'm cleaning them up. I just, there's little flat discs in there that, that are corroded. So I just sand them with 600 grit on glass. And so the third stage, I have to take the, the valves apart. So they're just a little disc with a spring in them that opens and closes. So this one here is leaking quite badly. I can actually suck air through it. So I just have to take the time to take it all apart. I have to make some tooling to get the, uh, the valves apart. And well, I can do that. I can make my own tooling. That's no problem. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get that tooling made and get it apart and cleaned up and fingers crossed it works. If it doesn't work, you know, it was worth the risk. I can actually part this out because it's got big filters and water separators on the front that you can't see. And they're really, really valuable. So I can get my money back by parting it out. But um, I'd like to get it working. It saves me going to the fire hall every time. And they treat me really good. It's 15 bucks a tank to fill them. And uh, they're super great. My brother works in that town. And so, you know, when I want to get air, he just makes a phone call and I can go to the fire hall and do it. So it really is convenient. But it would be much better if I could just do it at home. I used to have a little 3000 PSI Cornelius compressor, which was made for the um, US military. They work really good, but I just wore the thing right out. I could have bought one the other day for 700 bucks, which was just a deal of the century, but I'm in no spending mode right now. So I figured I'd rather spend a day or two playing with this. Besides it's fun. It's really fun to go through it all and figure it all out. It's got good oil pressure. It's got both a pressure oil pump and a splash pump, but I have to be careful because apparently they have to run at 1000 RPM to properly lubricate. So all I do is I run it very intermittently to test things. I don't keep it running, at least with the electric motor because it's not geared, so I'm, I'm not getting it spinning fast enough, but it's spinning fast enough to do the testing. So fingers crossed, I can get this thing working. Um, I, this has an automatic, uh, moisture dump. So every 15 minutes, these compressors have to dump the moisture. And this one has an automatic system. And I've actually figured out how to run it with uh, um, 110 volts uh, single phase. So like these, these relays are all single phase. So they just take two phases of power off the three phase and to get the single phase. So that's no problem. It's just uh, plug that in. There's a timer in the front. I'm going to actually disconnect it from the system and just bypass it and just run it off 110 AC. So then it'll be all fully automatic. Otherwise you got to sit there every 15 minutes and manually bleed it. So that's what I'm playing with. It's kind of fun and uh, it's kind of important. So again, fingers crossed. Ciao.